What's going on everyone? It's me, yeah boy, Alex the Rambler. Today I'm returning to the series which I keep starting and stopping because quite frankly it's more difficult to do than I, than I thought it was going to be. We're back to A, nope, we're back to Z to A and today we get to play as Tana Tuva. So if you're excited to see Tana Tuva Strikes Back, comment, like and subscribe. Let's try and get 3,000 likes for the glorious nation of Tana Tuva, shall we? So here we go. Over to... Oh. Well, that's odd, isn't it? Huh. It seems Tana Tuva has uh, <laughs> been relocated to Luxembourg. So what happens when you swap Luxembourg and Tana Tuva, I guess? This will be fun. So let's get historical AI on and just uh, let this war kick off. Well... It's going to be a few years before we can actually do anything. But uh, here we go. Tanatuva. And we are in the... We should be in the common turn. Yes, we are. Lovely jubbly. Well, I can't build anything except maybe forts. But to begin with, I am going to focus on the industrial effort so we can actually get some stuff going. Two research slots. That's going to be awful. And do we even have any... Oh, you've got a long march, my friend. Off you come. You're relocating to Luxembourg. The weather's better. Don't worry. Or do I just have to disband you because you have no way of getting that? Where are you trying to go? No, no, you'll just die there. Oh, you're in Mongolia now. Oh, right. I'm just going to disband this fella. I'll get the manpower back. And then we can focus on building a glorious army in Luxembourgian Tanatuva. Yes. Yes, it's everything I've ever dreamed. Everything I've ever wanted. I do like playing these nations when they swap them around. I don't know why it gets me going, but it does. Uh, also be hilarious to see how Germany tries to take out Luxembourg. Okay, construction effort. Let's really focus on getting a decent industry. We are led by, sorry, I should have started that. We're led by Shalak Toka. We are completely 100% communist. And looks like I can go ahead and get myself an advisor if I wanted to, but I don't. But it looks like we get bonuses for armor. Mmm, Tanatuvan tanks? Don't mind if I do. I think that's a bit silly. I should just stick with cavalry. Oh, I could even just leave the faction. Oh, go it alone. But no, I think it'll be more fun to stick with Stalin in, on this occasion. We can go straight to war economy if we wanted to. But this Z2A series, I, I wasn't expecting it to be as tricky as it is. Because uh, you want to try and keep it interesting and... I don't know. I think I've played Tanatuva once six years ago, and I had no intention of really playing it much again. I don't even have artillery researched. How am I meant to do anything against Germany on this occasion? Because they're going to be surrounding me entirely. I didn't think this one through. I thought, oh, this will be fun. Yeah, I'll just hold as Luxembourg, even though it's technically... Wait, 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 wait. Does that mean when I end up doing Luxembourg in five years, then I'll have to play this mod again? I don't think I want to do that. No, I don't want to be over here as Luxembourg. Don't make me do it. War economy. Oh, war economy. Oh, I've got guns I could sell. Yes. Let's, let's sell all of our, all of our guns. All of it. Let's see if anyone buys any. The Soviet Union. Yes. <laughs> and we're sending our arm shipments through Germany. <laughs> oh, and we have the first glorious division here. Okay, we're going to have to promote you, and then promote you to a field marshal, and then we're going to promote that brigadier as well. Oh, look at that smiling, smiling fella. Well, we'll stick with this. Armament effort, just doing all of the armament efforts that we can. Increase our construction. Do I have any slots open? No, we still have zero slots open. But we are almost a fortress with which to fend off Germany. Oh, Soviets have sent down some volunteers. Go on, go get it. I'm not sending mine, but you, you feel free. I feel like I may have done a very dumb decision here. I know, shock horror, everyone. Mainly because of my population. It's 300,000. I mean, it'll probably be cord. Oh no, we have more population than, than we would have done. Okay, I guess it's... I guess it's not. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. Don't worry. Yes, buy all my things. Keep buying. So I finished my forts, and now I'm going for a large airfield in case anyone wants to stick any aircraft in me. I'll take it. Now I'm going to start upping my conscription law. I'll need everyone I can get in the field. Come on, everyone. It'll be fine. Oh my god. You can try and form the Turkic nation. I, I, I didn't know how you do that, honestly. Oof. That'd be... Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, well, now I'm getting in a motorized division. I think that that may be able to hold. I think maybe maybe because of our HP and our... We got any decent defense? I mean, not really. Still can't build anything. What about a port? Oh, guess we'll get political correctness. 
Yes. Just gonna have to bide my time. That's all we're gonna have to do. Just bide my time for many, many years. This is basically observing simulator at this point. Th these kind of nations, when you have like one state, I mean, technically I should have still one state. Um, it, it doesn't really leave a lot for your imagination. I think I have enough civilian factories to create an intelligence agency. I do. Oh, what fun. I can't build anything. I've maxed out everything that I can possibly build, I think. 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10. Cannot build a supply hub. Can't build a railway. No, no. Uh, oh my god, we got it. Yes. Political commissars, which grants division recovery rate of 10%. Don't mind if I do. Thanks very much. See if we can start spying on the Germans. And I may as well go ahead and start doing more and more... Uh, if, as I can't build anything, I might as well go down heavy down the spy route. It would be somewhat interesting if I could attempt to take out Belgium. I don't think I'll be able to, though. But it would have been interesting. In the meantime, though, uh, I'm going to sell more equipment because I have no need of it. And I think the Soviets are going to buy everything. Thank you. We'll just, we'll just keep on sending our equipment to the Soviets for a price. Change to service by requirement. There we are. I'm still just trying to get two motorized divisions out. That's all I'm, that's all I'm trying to do. I could become spy master Ooh. of the faction. That's, that's nice. Can I get any more operatives? I can't believe we're in March 1939 and, and I've been, well, I haven't really been doing anything apart from sitting here waiting. <laughs> As you can tell from my 900 political power. Oh, here we go. Let's recruit Richard. And we'll keep expanding. Yes, let us spy on Germany. What have you got? You have lots. Lots of stuff. Only the best commentary you shall find on Alex the Rambler. Soviets are justifying against Poland. Oh. Well, I won't be able to assist you. Oh, yeah. We have two motorized divisions with a total of 17,000 troops in the field. Fear me, world. Fear me. Oh, I can get another factory yeah go on then if i could actually let me click damn you thank you so i currently have a a plus 100 invasion defense against germany right now that's kind of uh that's funny oh nuclear effort yes german pressure towards the benelux doesn't matter i'm not there sure yeah i'll join the war against finland why not i just want to see what they're going to do looks like the soviets the german right declared war on luxembourg well good luck getting to them I think they're safe. <laughs> oh, dearie me. But it looks like they're going into France and the winter war is happening. Finland, I think, are losing. So far, yes, they are losing. Do they have... Oh, yeah, look at that. Let's try and do collaboration governments against... I don't know if that's going to work at all. be hilarious if it did, but I'm just happy doing what I'm doing in Luxembourg. But Tana... 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 Tana Luxembourg. Tannerberg. There we go. We shall call you Tannerberg. Ooh, I've got mech. Well, looks like I'm surrounded and our agents are getting captured. Less than ideal, honestly, less than ideal. At this point, I guess I should be feeling a little bit sweaty, but I'm okay. I feel okay. I wish I could see what's going down in the UK. Can I, can I, would you accept an attache? All right, well, screw you. What if I improved relations? Yes, the art of the deal. Wonder if I could afford a third division. Yes, but then I have absolutely no manpower but that's okay would you accept my attache now yes let me look oh l beautiful naval invasion here they've encircled the entire africa core oh <laughs> except they do have tobruk still but i think they're gonna fluff it i think the allies are probably gonna fluff it although they are taking a lot of attrition they might actually get it huh but just look at the God, there's the barely anything in that Royal Tank Regiment. Oh, that's such a trash division, too. AI! I'm going atomic. Nerd. If you're still watching at this point, I'm going to be doing uh, disaster saves again. So if you do want to submit a disaster, send it to hoy4saves at gmail.com. Well, I'll, I'll leave the uh, email in the description. So if you do want to send in a disaster save with a new DLC, feel free. Uh, or, or the most recent patch, feel free. I'll try and do a few more disasters. Soviet Union claims Bessarabia. Yes. Will you be able to hold, though? I don't know. Do you need more equipment? Our attaches shall be sent where we please. Thank you very much. There we go. See if uh, they want to buy an extra 500, 600 artillery. Doesn't look like they do right now, but what? Oh, no, no, there we go. They want to buy the trucks. Hmm, okay. I should have researched anti-air. I could have been building that. Sacre bleu, chateau nerf de pap. If you're thinking to yourself, Alex, why aren't you great at the game after all these years? Well, I'm just forgetful. I'm still better than most of you, though. Don't forget that. 
they have not been able to defeat them at Tobruk, and instead they are now taking all of the attrition. Lesai! Pretty happy with the casualties they're taking, though. Okay, Toad Anti-Air, let's start building Anti-Air. Oh, all of my agents are getting captured now that Germany probably has their own. Oh, go on then, get a nuclear reactor, why not? It's not like I'll be able to actually build any of it, but... <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll get it regardless. I'm gonna run out of agents to recruit. It's like a death wish. Would you like to spy for us? Absolutely not. French have scuttled their fleet. Lovely stuff. Greece is still alive, which you love to see. I presume that's increasing the Italian casualties to over a million. It is. Good. How many have Greece taken? Oh, not so good. Just waiting for this to kick off now. Barbarossa. It cometh. Okay, Soviets are sending more divisions to try and protect their front, although that's going to collapse immediately, I would presume. I'm feeling like the Soviets aren't taking the threat of Barbarossa that seriously right now. Hello? Get more divisions. Get more divisions, Stalin! I've got three! That's pretty good for me! Look, I'm surrounded too! Although it's good that they they haven't commenced this until August. That's going to give us uh, a lot of time for winter. Not a lot of time for winter. It's September and... It, and they still haven't kicked off Barbarossa. So, is the AI going to attempt a 42? Is this a Bacoan game? I don't know. No, just kidding. Okay, well, the Soviets want me in the war. I'm going to wait until the Germans have spent a little bit of resources first. Do I have collaboration? I do. That's funny. The US has joined the Allies. Good stuff, good stuff. I wonder if I were to join, what are they actually going to do here? Let's... Fine. Let us accept. What? Nothing. Leningrad has fallen. Oh, that's not so hot, Soviets. That's not so hot. Meanwhile, I wonder if I could just strike out. Nope. Did that just cost me 400 troops trying to do that? Oh. Yee. Gotta wonder what Germany's thinking that they can't take out this little wart of Tannenberg. <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing. I, I, I'm surprised they haven't tried to launch an attack at all. Looks like Tobruk is still existing. Unfortunately for Italy, half of their country isn't. Well... Okay then. Well, uh, this is a first. I haven't really seen the Germans be this successful against the Soviets before. In fact, it's quite shocking. Some places they're holding no problem, but uh, yeah, in others, such as near Moscow, they are really starting to struggle quite a bit. Meanwhile, not a lot's going on here. Oh, but he's gone. Benito Mussolini. He's gone. I hope the Soviets don't capitulate. In a way, I wish I'd have actually just kept the game standard and I would actually be able to help them out a little bit. Oh dear, Stalin, what are you doing? Oh, that's happened. I am legitimately stuck. <laughs> I don't know what I thought I was going to do here. Like, why, why did I do this? Why did I do this? This is just a slow descent into madness, really, isn't it? Just stop it. Get some help, Alex. Changing our divisions over to some uh, lovely mechanized. Oh! <laughs> Did my forts get bombed? What's happening? Note to self, Alex, don't change your division templates when you're surrounded. That's a really bad idea. Why would you do that? I can't believe I've ballsed it up this badly. I've just reloaded to see if I can somehow survive just by repeating last stand, just spamming last stand every all the time. I don't know if that's going to work, though. I can't believe I did that. That's such a silly thing to do. Oh, Alex, why do you have to be such a silly sausage? To anyone watching at this point, I apologise. That was a dumbass move, and I don't know why I did that. I will keep on keeping on and see what happens throughout the rest of the war. Oh, man. Why? I was in such a good position, and then I thought, oh, I'll just change over my division templates. They're not going to do anything to me. Well, no, they did. They did. Oh, that's pain. Pain. My agents are getting captured, but it's like the only thing I've got left. Let's just see if we can build an intel network up here instead. I don't know if building intel networks helps your allies at all, but it looks like Stalin has uh, relieved Moscow a little bit at least. Soviets at this point, 5 million. Germany, 7.5 million. Ouch. I think at this point, the game might actually go to 1945. So it looks like they've balanced it okay, although I will say that Italy did fall rather too quickly in my opinion. I wonder, could I still sell? I could sell all of my stuff. Would you like some equipment, Mr. Soviets? I can still assist you. It's not over till the Rambler sings. No, they don't want anything. Oh, Soviets are starting to push in the south. Are they going to relieve Kiev? Go on, take it back. In fact, they're launching um, counterattacks across a lot of the line. Uh, uh, most of them are failing. 
but some of them aren't. Some of them aren't. In the south, they're doing all right. Turkey's joined the Allies. Very nice. You'd love to see it. They'll start pushing in Bulgaria. Oh, yeah. It may be a big implosion for, for the Soviets. Not the Soviets. What am I talking about? The Germans. Greece is getting revived a little bit, little by little. Little by little. Nope, that's singing. It's not over yet. Maybe I'll call this video a Tanatuvan train wreck. A Tanatuva train wreck. Yes. I'm gobsmacked that the UK has nothing... Uh, ready for a D-Day. But I guess they are occupied in other areas of the world. Oh, Denmark's risen up. Okay. Are they going to last all of, like, a second? I don't see how they're going to survive. I haven't seen this before. Go on. Go on, little Denmark. You can do it. That's literally just rubbish militia that they're not pushing. They actually joined the common turn. Chad moves by Denmark. Oh, encirclement down here. Just, just one division, but every division helps. It looks like they're trying to crush central Italy. Any resistance in central Italy now? I hope they do. Anything to get this moving. Looks like they've lost the port, so that's going to be a large chunk of forces just going to get absolutely... Oh, you, you can see the helmets popping. Pow. They're very close to capitulation. Germany's at 12 million casualties now. Ouch. <sighs> Yay! Bulgaria's risen up as well. Lovely. You love to see it. 1945 and Germany's still holding on. Huh. Although the Soviets are pushing still. They are still pushing. I am a bit shocked that it's February 45 and a D-Day uh, still hasn't even been attempted. Oh, Japan's entered the war against the Soviets. Ah, I see. That might be where some of the issues coming from. Oh. Oh, they're getting encircled. Okay. Army Group North could be in some trouble here. Uh, especially if they lose some ports. Romania is getting crushed. Yep, there goes Romania. Oh, China's joined the UK. Okay. Oh, if Sofia falls, could that be it for Bulgaria too? So one by one, the nations are... Oh, one by one, the nations are almost falling. I just wonder if I'll be able to grab anything in the peace deal. I wonder what my war contribution was. Huh. Well, not good. Oh, we are under pressure from Moscow to officially join. Well, I would... I can still observe. I think that's that's probably the best bet for the so for, 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 for the Soviet Union, yes? I am really surprised that the Allies have never done a D-Day, or even attempted to do one. They could easily take Sofia right now. I think they could also easily take Boulogne. <sighs> I don't know why they're not doing anything. They're just not pushing. They could easily just finish this. Whoa. That's pretty grim on the Soviet end. Look at that. Look how many, look how many generals they're trying to manage. Whoa. But they are pushing back. Army Group North now. Nearly into Poland, maybe? I need to stop looking at this. Jeez. Oh, the Soviets have gone into Finland. Go on, son. You can do it. Finland and the Soviets signed a white peace. Okay, that's going to be really bad news for Germany now. Still no sign of a D-Day. 1946. There's literally nothing. It's like the AI for the Allies has kind of gone a bit brain dead. Like, if I were to click on the US right now, I mean, they, the ridiculous amount of theatres that they have, I swear they could easily be doing more. Imagine trying to play like this. Surprised the AI isn't imploding in upon itself. It's 1946, and Denmark has advanced more into... <laughs> into Germany than the Allies. How are the Soviets out of manpower? Oh my lord. <gasps> a landing has happened, a landing has happened. Nobody panic, a landing has happened. Oh my days. They're on all adult serve. I wonder what Germany's on. Scraping the barrel. And they're almost out of manpower on scraping the barrel. That is... Ooh. Yeah, they're almost at 20 million casualties. We're almost in 1947. Help. Well... It's 1947. I... Oh, 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 oh! The Soviets have taken Berlin. At last, uh, the downfall of the Reich is near at hand. I'll keep this running until we get a peace deal so we can kind of see what the result of this world is. I apologise for doing that really dumb manoeuvre of uh, switching all of my divisions over to Mech when I was surrounded by troops. Shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake I will not be doing again. Looks like there might be a big old collapse of Germany here. Italy has also just capitulated. Tanatuva has 30% collaboration in the German Reich. This will reduce the German Reich's surrender level by 9% to give 30% compliance when the enemy capitulates. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, Bulgaria still has to capitulate. Are you serious? Oh, there we go. It's almost over. It's done. Why? Would you declare war on the US straight afterwards? Is that... Did Budapest just get nuked? I think Budapest just got nuked. Well, I guess we've been taken back by Stalin. But now that's happened, 
the peace deal is just going to be awful and uh, this war will ne be never ending. So on that bombshell, nothing in this video went right, did it? <laughs> oh, dearie me. Deary me. Once again, I apologise for the absolute mess of this video. I will try better in the next one. But until next time, everyone. <laughs> bye bye. Many thanks to the Patreon cult leader, Jack Troku, and Patreon champions, Chancellor64, Haigu, Logan Whaley, and Wyatt Green. And many thanks to all the other patrons, Twitch subscribers, and YouTube channel members too. Thank you.